Hello and welcome to your exam. You know, sometimes people ask, how do I use Honor Lock as a lockdown browser, especially in the student perspective? So what I've created for you is a very short video of me going through the process of taking my exam using Honor Lock system for a lockdown browser that also has video or facial recognition at the beginning. So let's get going. So let's walk through the steps of using our proctoring service, which is known as Honor Lock. So as you can see, I'm not able to take the test because I don't have the extension. I need to agree, get started. It's going to have me add the Honor Lock to Chrome, add the extension. I'm already signed into my Gmail account. So now I'm good to go. Now I can hit Take Quiz. It's letting me know that once I've submitted an answer, I will not be able to change it. I'll click Begin. So it says for the instructions, open book allowed, notes are allowed, scratch paper, restroom breaks are allowed, calculator, headphones, hats, and you can take the exam in a public area. Every test that you're going to take, depending on the class, will have different criteria. Uh, this exam in particular is just using it as a secure browser, so it's not going to actually record you during the exam, uh, but it will be a secure browser, meaning that it won't allow you to use any other windows or anything uh, besides what we're looking at here. So I can hit launch proctoring, and a new little window will pop up. And it says the following functionalities will be disabled. I won't be able to open any browsers or windows. I won't be able to resize the test page. Uh, and other applications or pages and tests might not be used. So I'm going to say OK. So it's going to ask me to put my face in. And I'm going to do this. And then it's asking to show my ID. Uh, so here's my ID. And I'm going to put it there uh, for the camera. Ooh. Do, 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 do. There we go. And what it's doing is this a verification process. So I'm just doing this in particular to make sure that it's actually you taking the exam. And that's the only time that you're going to be using the camera. So click the button below to begin taking my test. So I click begin and it's waiting for it to launch. And here I go. So now the test is active and ready to go. It's not doing any uh, recording. Uh, it's not using the camera for anything other than that. So you can cover it up. It's just used specifically as a verification process of you and your ID. That being said, your exam is timed. Uh, you will see the countdown on the right hand side for whatever time allotment you have. Uh, and well, good luck. This is it. So you're logged in and uh, we'll talk soon.